Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I need to really talk about this particular individual. I just couldn't concentrate. I was working I'm on my lunch break at the moment, having a nut bar. Um, I take a bite off that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about car habits. And post that particular match against Lil, as I said, I couldn't concentrate. I was just thinking how well we've played without Romelu Lukaku and Kai Havertz did, did the job. And do you know what? I want to share this conversation. I know I've talked about this, but I feel like I need to repeat this situation again. In the Club World Cup, I saw Kai Havertz live. And you guys know very well, there's so many times in the last few videos I've said, there's something special about Kai Havertz, ladies and gentlemen. There's something special. You guys already know my boy Jonathan, who's you know part of the channel. You know, every now and then you guys see him in the stream. He has believed in Kai Havertz for a very, very long time, and I'm starting to see why, and especially seeing him live in Club World Cup. You get to see his movements, you get to see his touches, you get to see his you know, that burst of pace. He's not slow. He's, in fact, very fast. He, he may not be, you know, fast from the get-go, but he has this burst of pace. He can, he can hold the ball and sort of hit it in front of you and then chase. Um, he's not someone who's going to be, like, out in the wings and play as a winger. He's got a different style of burst of pace, which is very, very dynamic. Very dynamic. Um, his movement is elite. We saw the kind of damage he's able to do as a false nine, ladies and gentlemen. He was able to press, and I think that's helped, up, helped our game a lot. To have that focal point up front and to lead the press from the get-go. It's so important. It just allows the rest of the team to then follow on with their press. And the press looks a lot more cohesive. And it really puts the opposition under immense pressure. As soon as you don't press the opposition and they want to build up from the back, it's all too easy for them. All too easy. They can just rip through our midfield and then go straight head on with our defenders. And... However, if you press well, you put them under pressure. And so many times, Kante was able to win the ball so high up. And it was due to the fact that we were pressing from the, from the front with Kai Havertz. It seemed like he's shooting, he's really focusing on his shooting. Yes, that cross from Aspilicueta in the first half. I should have put that away. And I feel like the more he plays in that role, he will put that away. I think the most important factor about that particular scenario is that Kai was there. He was there to take that opportunity. I don't know whether this sluggish Lukaku that we're seeing post that interview, whether he makes it in that position. Now, he may well have. He may well have, but... <coughs> Well, yeah, in the Club World Cup, there was a really good cross from Kalamata Nodoi, which Lukaku put away with a header. So he may well have been there, but we need to understand that Kai Havertz, that movement was great. Yeah, he missed. He should have put it away. And I think over time, he will put that away. But to be there, that movement was great. There was another opportunity, I think it was just before he scored the goal, or maybe after, where he got the ball in the box and then he cut in with his left and he took a shot with his left foot. I don't know if you guys remember that. That was a really good shot and it was well saved by the little goalkeeper. Check that uh, particular clip out, ladies and gentlemen, That what I'm talking about. Either it was before he scored or after he scored. 
Once again, it was great movement. He was in the box. He cut in with his left and he whipped it with his left. Uh, if that had gone in, I think the roof would have been off the stadium. And of course, for the header, he's tall. He's got the aerial ability. This isn't the first header that he scored off a corner. Um, earlier this season, I believe against Liverpool as well, he did the same thing. Brilliant delivery from Hakim Ziyech. He rises up and heads that in. It was a total package. It was a total package. And I think it suits him to play more centrally through the middle. Or, or closer to the goals. And this is what he was doing in Club World Cup as well. When he played alongside Romelu Lukaku. Look, that could be a potential combination up front as well. Romelu Lukaku and Kai Havertz. And I want Havertz to be much closer not out wide in the wings. The width has got to come with other wingers, whether it's a 4 2 2 2 or maybe, maybe it's a 4 2, um, sorry, 3 3 5 2. Yeah, we could possibly play that with the width coming from the wing backs. Whatever the case is, Havitt's got to play a lot closer. And I think going forward, it's either Kai Havertz up front. Now he's created a a reference. He's created a precedent. Now I don't think Thomas Tuchel can go backwards. And and in fact, in recent press conference, even the press conference before Palace game, he said Kai Havertz is starting to look a lot more reliable. This is why in the Club World Cup he started both the matches. This is why against Palace he started. Now he starts this one against Lille. As a good momentum that's building. And Thomas Tuchel had a lot of praise for Kai Havertz, ladies and gentlemen, post this Lille game. Immense praise. He was talking about how fantastic he was. What a brilliant game he played. I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. I've been saying, especially since the Club World Cup, when I saw him live, I've been saying... There's something special about Kai Havertz. I even tweeted a few days ago that I'm willing to hear about any of our attackers, any price tag. I'm willing to hear if, if anyone's interested to buy. I know we wouldn't sell Mason Mount. I know we possibly wouldn't sell Hakim Ziyech at the moment, the way he's playing. But I'm just hypothetically putting out there, Havertz is the only one that I think is untouchable. There's something so unique, so special about him. He's got the lot. He really does have the lot. And he's young. He's only going to get better and better and better, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I hope this continues. I hope Thomas Tuchel keeps with this. I hope against Liverpool we see Kai Havertz up front again. And if Lukaku is playing, I still want Kai Havertz alongside him. I don't want him in the wings. I want him either, either as a second striker just behind him or alongside him. Um, as a left forward and Lukaku as a right forward. Um, but the best one for me is just him up front along with Pulisic and Mason Mount because you can't really drop Pulisic. He played a fantastic game as well. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you feel about Kai Havertz while I um, eat my nut bar for my lunch. Um, yeah, it is. I'm doing it tough, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing it tough on my lunch break. I'm having nut bars on my lunch break. Um Trying to reduce a bit of weight. You know what I mean? I'm a bit bulky in my tummy area. But yeah, let me know how you feel about Kai Havertz, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting times. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content.